Shabbat Shalom, Little Hebrews, and Boker Tob. This Shabbat, we are going to learn about what is hell and the lake of fire. Before we get started, let me say to you, Little Hebrews, Ema is not saying a bad or naughty word when I say hell. I do not want you little Hebrews to think that Ema is cussing. Okay, let's get into our lesson. So again, here's the question. What is hell? Little Hebrews, there are those that have tried to answer this question in some very worldly and Christian ways. One thing I will tell you is that hell is not a place where there's a devil running around with a pitchfork in his hand, jabbing and sticking it into people who have been bad. You know what? Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, so scripture tells us in Genesis 2 and 7, which is the creation of man, and Yah formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Little Hebrews, this means that you and me and your parents and your friends and all man was created by Yah from the dust of the ground. And instead of Yah leaving us limp and without life, Yah breathed the breath of life into man. Let's go over and take a look at Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. This scripture tells us, And the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit returns to Yah who gave it. Which means the breath that Yah gave to man is returned to Yah. This is telling us that man who was made from the dust of the earth will return to the dust and the breath that Yah breathed in man will return to Yah. So what is hell? When we look back in our true language of Hebrew, we find, we find out that the word that was translated as hell was a Hebrew word pronounced sheol. In little Hebrews, this word means grave. It means pit. It means a place for the dead. Our ancestors knew that once the breath of life went back to Yah, the body was asleep and was to be returned to the earth because that's where it came from. Psalm 16, 9 and 11 really says it beautifully, little Hebrews. It says, therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave. Little Hebrews, we have been promised that after our breath goes back to Yah and our body rests in Sheol or the grave, we will not be thrown away and forgotten. Just like Yahoshua, the Ruach of Yah is going to bring us out of that grave. That is why we must do as Yahoshua did and follow Yah's laws and commandments. Be obedient. Love your neighbors as we love ourselves. Honor our fathers and our mothers. Set ourselves apart from this world. Little Hebrews, hell is the grave, the place where the body is laid to rest and where it can go back to the dust because it was made from dust. There is no red devil. There is no pitchfork. That is not what hell is. And that is part one of our lesson on what is hell and the lake of fire. And we will ask you some questions and come back with part two about the lake of fire. Shalom.